Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to this video. Now, this is a little update video I'm gonna do purely on what's been going on over the last week or so. As I record this, it is Friday, sorry, it is Saturday, get the days right, it's Saturday the 5th of August. Uh, we moved into our new car site yesterday, Friday the 4th, which is actually my wedding anniversary, so I remember that date particularly well. The wife has certainly made sure she reminded me of this date. Um, but we're in, we're now in, we've been in since yesterday. We got here about 10 o'clock, uh, handed, got the keys and that, spoke to the landlord, got all that sorted. His landlord, luckily, is a friend of mine, so that has made the situation far easier to deal with. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really straightforward. But it's been a long wait for me. Um, so I'll give you some context about what's happened, the background of it, and why things have changed a little bit over the last week or so. I'll just quickly touch on that before we get going. It is 10 to 8 in the morning, so I'll keep this brief because I'm going to crack on with so much paperwork around the place. Uh, also as well, I'm not showing you around today. Um, I'm going to do a video on that next week when everything's done. So when, everything, when everything's in, we're all set up, got the cars, I can show you where we are, what we're doing, what we're about, what we're called, what the setup is, show you all around the site, do a proper, proper full length video on that. Today's purely just a bit of an update on basically what's been going on. Um, and just have a quick chat for 10 minutes before I start the day. Got me coffee, we'll have a little bit of a chat. So, the situation is that for those who don't know, I sold my existing business. I mean, I've been in the motor trade all my life. So, since 17, leaving school, one form or the other, with the odd gap here and there in between, very briefly, I've been doing cars in the motor trade garages all my life. Uh, run auction houses as well. Uh, and my last business was that. So, I used to run a MOT station. I also ran an auction house on the site as well for a number of years in between that. Uh, I'll talk more about that in another video because it's very interesting in itself. But I, my existing business, I said we just sold that in uh, April of this year. And how it came about was that a friend of mine, this premises, he runs his premises, he's been here for 30 years dealing in cheap cars, just like me. It's what I predominantly deal in. Uh, and he's done quite well out of it. And he decided he came to me ooh, about November last year. It was actually the same time when I set this channel up. Um, and he came to me and said, look, he's looking at leaving, um, retiring, should we say. Um, would you be interested, first refusal? He always said he would offer it me if it came up. I didn't think he would be at 60, well, I, I didn't think he'd be now, I thought it'd be in a few more years, but you know, he decided it now was at the right time, which is fair enough. I said that I'll be very interested, let me have a quick think about it, give me a month or two at Christmas to think about it and I'll let you know. Uh, but um, on the face of it, I'll be very interested. Now at the time I wasn't thinking of selling my garage, I wasn't sure what to do. I don't even, wasn't even sure I was gonna come here, it was, just, it was just an idea. We were just chewing the fat, if you like, at the moment. So I set the channel up at the same time, and obviously I did not expect the channel to blow up like it did. Um, I didn't expect that at all. I just thought maybe you know, years down the line, I might get a you know, thousand views, and some people might have a bit of a chat with people, and just build something very, very small. Never expected that we'd get to this level in the period of seven months, which I obviously can't thank you guys enough for obviously uh, watching all my content and in, uh, hopefully enjoying it. But that developed very quickly. So we started the videos in November, then within a few weeks, it started to really sort of catapult quite quickly. Um, and then it sort of worked out that we had something on our hands here. And it'd be better maybe we to integrate this channel into an everyday sort of business where we were literally fully doing car sales and retail on, on a full scale. Because my other business was more repairs. We did sell cars as well. I did go to the auctions. That I've always done that. But it was on a smaller scale. So we are probably doing half a dozen cars a month we'd sell. Mainly to locals in the area. Um, people used to come to the garage, stuff like that. We didn't, it wasn't really sort of a, a, a national sort of bit outlet where we'd sell vehicles to anyone, you know. Whereas now we could sell someone a car in, you know, Scotland. We wouldn't, we wouldn't bother us. That's, what we, that's our job now. Uh, whereas before it was more local, we just dealt with the locals because it was just easier and more convenient. Uh, so this is more of a, so this is a big step for us going up because basically we've got to take what we've been doing on a small scale and pushing that up into a bigger scale. But um, yeah, so we decided to sell the garage at Christmas. I decided, you know what, I'm going to take this this um, this challenge on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna move in, sell the existing business, and then do this full time. So got the garage sold very quickly actually, put it up in the January, told the guy this premises, uh, what we were, were doing, and he was happy with that. We sold it really quickly, I mean, we were done by April. It was a massive shock really how quick it was, had loads of people interested in it. We got a couple of guys who were, who were really interested and they were probably the most keen, they weren't messing me about, they weren't trying to chip me or anything like that, we just got on with it, uh, and, uh, and that was great. They're now in, they've been in since April, fantastic, no issues there. So left a bit of a gap between because I was expecting to be sort of the summer and they sort of come out of one business into another. 
we left a bit of the gap. So I've been sort of wandering around the last couple of months trying to get stuff ready, doing loads of research, doing obviously doing more videos, just trying to get things organized. Um, in that period of time, what happened was obviously because I left that other business, I had staff who worked for me, we had someone who was going to retire and I had to make one other staff member redundant. Um, they then got subsequently got a job and as I was sort of going down towards the start, and as we're getting down towards taking on this premise as a start line, and I'm starting to pay out for stuff, like basically because I'm starting to pay out for things, mechanical stuff. So. I haven't got any room to do stuff. I didn't have any room to do anything. I didn't have any workshops. I had no access. So I couldn't do things myself. I can't, I can't really work on things as easy as you would like. So I'm having to sort of move stuff to other people, find other mechanics to do stuff for me, which is fine. You just build that cost into the price of the car. But as a long-term strategy, it's not ideal. But eventually when we get in here, we've got the workshop set up, that solves half that problem. But then again, I don't want to be pinned down too much trying to fix cars. I want to be trying to do other things, get the videos done, get to go out and buying cars and doing that side of the business, managing the business. Let someone else do the selling, let me do the, the managing and sort of getting the buying done and let someone else do the mechanicing. Uh, and then I could help and interject in between. And obviously I'd still get my hands to it if I wanted to. Um, but not having a mechanic really sort of play my mind. I thought, do you know what? I need a mechanic. I need to get a mechanic in here. It's not just gonna work me sending stuff from pillar to post to people because you're relying on other people again. and. Sometimes they let you down, sometimes they're slow, and, I, and I've experienced that already where I've sent cars to people and they're just not being as quick as you would like them to be. And I don't mean me being sort of pushy and thinking that I should push the queue, I mean really are sort of taking far too long to do something that's straightforward. So I thought, you know what, I need to get my old mechanic back. I made him redundant, he was, he was, he was happy he was made redundant because he got a shove of money out of me, but um, I thought, you know what, I, I need to get him back. So he offered me a, a position back, but he'd already got another job and he seemed quite happy in there. So he was a bit reluctant, should we say. He said, no, I'm quite happy where I am. Um, I'd love to come back, but I am happy where I am. I'd rather just give it a go. You know, I'm here now. If there's anything changed, I'll let you know. I'll come and help you on occasion in the evenings, or, you know, it wasn't far, it doesn't work that far down the road. And um, on a Saturdays and stuff, I don't work. I might pop in, I'll be there. But yeah, fair enough. You can get me some help at least. I'll be happy with that. We'll just have to make do with what we've got. You know, me and my other colleague who's helping me with this place, we're quite versatile. We'll chew for it. We can we can make things work regardless. And it's not that we can't function the business without but without a mechanic. It just means we have to do a bit more and be a bit more hands on, if you like, and sort of uh, plan things a bit better and get on the line for people. Um, now I had a call last week, last Friday, out of the blue. My mechanic, who offered the job back to, who uh, turned me down, all of a sudden changed his mind. Uh, it changed his mind because effectively he had a bit of a row with his boss, um, which didn't surprise me, but um, not so much. The mechanic, but who the boss was, but um, yeah, he, he had a fallen out of him, uh, and he basically said, "Look, I made the wrong choice. Uh, I can't work with this guy. I, I've decided that I'm going to go back on me on the mobile mechanic. And if you want me, you can have me back." I thought, "Great, get him back." So we had to change all the plans around immediately because I wasn't planning on having him in in the business. So I've sort of projected things about an extra salary on board. You might not think it's a lot, but when you've got an extra few thousand pounds a month, you then got fined. You've got to work out where it's going to come from. Do the, do the, does it work? Do the margins work? Have we got change for the, the, how we operate and function? Um, so we have to sort all that out sort of last minute. But in effect, all you're doing is, is you're, when you're buying a car now, what I'm doing now, or what I would have been doing, should I say, is I'm buying a car and then the cost of repairing that car, so you'd send it away to have a timing chain done, for example, you're just building that into the price of the car. And then, so that's effectively how you would do it if you didn't have a mechanic. That's how most dealers who aren't hands-on would do that. Um, but overall, if you keep doing a lot of that, you're going to spend a lot of money a week. So you can actually burn more money a week than you would do just having a full-time mechanic. Plus, it's the little things as well. You can send a car to a mechanic to have a timing chain done or have a gearbox done because you don't want to get involved with yourself or you haven't got the time and build into the price. But it's a little thing. You want a car pitch and it's like little bits of trim there and there. Something that gets left last minute. A customer looks at a car and he points out something that you may not have seen initially when you've put it up for sale because effectively you're doing most of the prep, sort of you do initial prep and then you do a bit of prep when you sell it at PDI. So just little bits like that, where you've got someone literally hands on there, it's just far easier. And if you have an issue with the car, customer comes back, he's there on site, we've not got to pre-plan it and think, well, we've got to ring the mechanic up and he said you're going to be X many days to get to it. So then we have to jump on it. Or it just makes things so much easier when the work is there in the amount we've got to get through to just have someone full time because you'll burn more money throwing it out to other people than you will just having someone in the house. So logically, 
it was the best decision to make. And what should have done in the first place, really? I thought maybe we'd just get round it, you know, we're not gonna do that many, we'll only sell a few cars a week, we'll manage it. Uh, and it turns out really looking at it that probably gonna be, it would have been really difficult to have done that. It's far better to have someone in house. Um, but anyway, that is now resolved. We've got a mechanic on board, he's come and helped us yesterday move in, um, he's chuffed a bit. Uh, he's back, he's, he's, he's set everything up, he's just got on with it, he's a great guy, he just gets on with everything, doesn't mess about, he's got the whole place cleared out and got everything set up on the tool side of it. And we're already starting to get a few big jobs in as well. We don't really want to be running a garage or so, we've sort of left that environment, but we've got people just turning on, because we're literally, again, I can't really show you at the moment because I'm going to do the full video, but we're on a massive busy road in Crewe in Cheshire, that's as far as I'll go at the moment, um, and we've got loads of footfall. And we've just got people just randomly turning in, obviously they want to look at cars, but also they want to look and get the car fixed because they just see garages and think, well, there must be garages, must be mechanics. Well, they're not wrong, but... So we're just having to sort of pick some jobs out and we've just got a couple today just because the mechanic's here and we've got a few bits to get on with mine, but if you can squeeze the odd quick job in now and then, it just brings a bit extra money into the pot because for the next week or so, we're not really going to be earning any money because we're just setting up signs, doing paperwork, getting things organised, setting up programmes and software, getting a structure in place. Effectively, we're dead for the next week. That's basically what we're saying. Um, so if we sell to it in the meantime, great. But if we can earn some money elsewhere, even if it's just, even if it's a few hundred pounds, it's a few hundred pounds that pays a man's wages we wouldn't otherwise have. So that's what we're doing today. We've got all mixed bag of stuff going on. We're fixing cars, which I don't really want, I want to get away from, but like I said, we've got the needs must. We're going to be get, getting our own stuff sorted for the pitch. That's the main thing. Getting the pitch organised, getting some sort of coercion going, and then focus on basically all this one paperwork side which needs sorting because the place is just a mess there's just boxes everywhere of stuff we've just got to go through and get everything sort of written up so that is really it really it's been a eventful week to say the least i am so relieved that i'm finally in here it's felt like six months even though it's only been about nine weeks i think roughly i've even been on holiday since that and come back and it's, it, that seems like it was the beginning of the year uh, yeah so just massively relieved by that i will do a full video like i said of the entire site I've bought a lot of cars over the last week or so as well, some interesting stuff, so I'm going to film them as I go. There will be more videos going forward, obviously, because literally I now just walk out to cars that are on the forecourt. We can just film stuff immediately. We haven't got a mess about finding somewhere to go to film and structure. It just, it's just easier to do it this way. So we're going to have a lot more content going forward. If I can put out two or three videos a week, that is my intention. That's what I want to do, and particularly as well, we're going to focus on the vlogs. We're going to focus on individual vehicles. We're going to do some more reviews and obviously we're going to do our auction videos. Uh, we've got a whole host of different auction houses who want me to go and visit them. And obviously we're always going to be buying. Um, I need to buy stock. We will be selling stock, fingers crossed. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we will need to be buying as well. So please look out for that video in that suite when it lands. Uh, we'll get it out hopefully next week. Done. We'll go for a massive sort of vlog, if you like, of everything. How we're going to work and operate, everything like that. So I'll catch you on my next video. Thank you for watching this one, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Hit that like and subscribe button, and if you hit the bell as well, you get my latest notifications as they come through. And I'll see you all in the next video.